Jim Tafiti. My argument is, let's do the things we agree on first. Let's get those things out of the way and don't hold those hostage to all these other issues because these things are meaningful. Why wouldn't we pass them? In the face of withering criticism over his voting record and ties to the NRA, Marco Rubio is proposing legislation that steers clear of the more controversial issues in this debate. In a series of bills, Rubio is proposing increasing spending on school security and improved background checks. But he is also calling for a federal gun violence restraining order. Someone can go to court, be it a relative, someone who lives with you, or law enforcement, and get a federal judge to issue a, a short-term removal of guns and or uh, stopping you from buying guns if you have probable cause that that person could be a harm to themselves or to others. A similar plan is being proposed by the state. Rubio said the shooter, Nicholas Cruz, should have been dealt with long before the shooting. This is someone who fell through not one crack, but multiple cracks. To fix that problem, Rubio is also proposing school districts create ways of identifying dangerous kids before they can act. You have a task force of law enforcement schools and others who are constantly coordinating and monitoring, you know, the, the students and former students who could potentially do what we saw happen in Parkland and get ahead of it. We are better off identifying and stopping killers rather than simply trying to defend against them once they've begun the killing. Rubio Rubio's plan does not include banning assault weapons, nor does it include raising the age to purchase those weapons from 18 to 21. Rubio had said he was willing to raise the age. So you would support that? I would, but the problem is we don't have the votes. We're not even close to the votes for that. I mean, I went to D.C. this week. I talked to my colleagues from multiple different states. They're not supportive of it. That doesn't mean that isn't something we're going to continue to work on and that if a emerges on it that's limited to that that we wouldn't support it but that's not one of the things we could get done quickly there'll be a long debate about that at the CNN town hall he said he would consider banning high capacity ammunition clips but that is not included in any of his bills I need to learn more about it what is the right number like what is it 10 is it 15 is it 30 and then what is the right restriction do you ban them do you require background checks I mean so it's a new issue for us so it's one I need to learn more about before I can take a position that I'm and say this is the answer to it. I'm